Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I just got off of work, so I'm super tired. And I'm not sure how the audio is going, because I got about uh, 10 minutes to record this video before everyone starts waking up and this video gets ruined. So that today's video, we're going to go over this month in Dragalia Lost. I hope you like it. If you do, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's get into it. So first of all, they thank us. They thanks everyone, say so we're currently doing the Thousand Day Celebration. Uh, lugging in right now, a daily free tenfold summon event that starts on 704. Uh, Toil the Deep Facility event available now. You can enjoy a story that unfolds at the bottom of the sea. It has Mim in it, as you can see here. Uh, summer Alex. So yeah, this is just basically a recap of everything. Plans for this month. Release Summer Mim. She'll be a part of the daily free tenfold, which is nice to know. The new boss is our way to debut on 701, which is probably... No, actually not by the time of the recording of this video. At reset. Uh, adventurers who hail from Hinamoto will catch rays on the beach at a defensive event in mid-July. I hope that you're looking forward to learning who will enjoy some fun in the sun this year. We posted a sneak peek on Twitter. You can check it out there. Uh, if you did not see it, the person who was teased was Yasu, and I believe some people have data mined who the other character is going to be. Uh, there, we don't have a lot of characters from Hinamoto, so just pick one of them and you'll figure out who it is eventually. Kind of fits with Yasu, so... Um, Grimir's Trial will be added to the Trials of the Mighty in mid-July. The daily bonus for this quest will be materials for Akasha, aka Bacon Priestess, looking... I cannot believe that this is what she wears. This is the most revealing X-looking thing in the world. Good for her, though. Good for her. The Time Attack Challenge event, Pitting Shadow Adventures, will be started. This time it's a Time Attack, but it's with Lilith, so... I look forward to ignoring this! Part 2 of the Chapter 20 of the main campaign will be, aided, will be added in late July. The Prince and Friends will face the final hurdle in their quest to reach the summit of the Sacred Tree. And you'll also be able to add the Adventure Summer Prince to your roster by playing through an event in late July. So that means that there are, just like last year, there are three summer events actually. There's the one we currently have, there's a defensive battle featuring um, the Summer Himo Hinamoto people, and then there's another one. That will let you have let you get the free prints, which is nice because that means that the only main character who, so in terms of swimsuits revealed in the very first summer event, um, all the main cast got one. Everyone got a costume, but the people who got main units were um, Cleo, Ranzel, Luca, and I want to say that's it. Yeah, and the people who got left out were Ellie and uh, the Prince, and this is actually our third Prince variant. We don't have a lot of the Prince units. I feel it's because they specifically are a little bit wary about releasing too many versions of the Prince and summonable banners, which is why he's a free character here. Uh, that's my only guess as to why they don't do more prints, because we have like the Halloween Prince, we have the Monster Hunter um, Prince, the way he looks there. Like, There's been plenty of chances for them to put a new outfit on the Prince and put him in a banner, but they just don't do it. Um, so I'm glad to finally have him for free. Again, he was, we've had his design since Summer 1, and so that would mean that we're probably getting two more Summer units by the end of the, the Summer Days. Who will they be? Might be finally time for Summer Ellie. We do have her 3D model thanks to Alex. Maybe they'll go all out and actually make her a unit. We'll have to see near late July. But that's pretty cool. I like that they are adding Summer Prince. And then he's free. So that means I don't have to pull for him. Because God, summoning in Dragalia. Uh, we plan to add the following features in an update around the end of July. Players who will be able to choose whether or not to accept the daily bonuses for clearing Trials of the Mighty Quest. Thank you very much. I no longer have to always do Master first. I can actually kind of build up to it. Um, players will be able to use skip tickets to clear quests that award a daily bonus except for Trials of the Mighty. Which is one tap from the central location. Uh, players will be able to trade Steel Bricks... Moonlight Stones, and Mana for other items depending on the item offered for trade. Players may obtain valuable resources like Damascus Crystals or Sunlight Ore. Uh, very nice as I have a buttload of useless Moonlight Stones, Mana, and Steel Bricks, I think. Uh, in conclusion, we conclude with a quick note about Dragalia Lost Song Collection. It's a 2D, 2 CD set, but it also comes with this booklet which is really nice looking. And look, it even has one of the warm prints. 
Thank you for uh, reading this month. Everyone gets champion testaments and Eldwater. A very light this month. Um, don't know if they're going to have more, but I'm going to guess that a lot of it is front-loaded on. Yo, Summer Bim is this month. And then later near the end of the month, we'll have more hype Summer Dudes coming in. Chances are maybe Summer Ellie, who knows? That's only a guess that I can have at the moment. Um, yeah, that's the end of today's video, man. Hope you liked it. I'm going to bed. Good night, everyone.